welcome back. Look, acrylic pouring today, not resin. Yay! <laughs> I like doing them both. Now today I'm going to do a, a swipe with paper towel, damn paper towel. And you know how when you tear your paper towel, you get that kind of little serrated edge? I'm going to wet that edge so that I get more like little lines. So that's what I'm going to do. So I put down my grey base coat. Um, now, let me tell you about what's in my mix. I am trying something a little bit new. I've got 321, three parts Floetrol, two parts GAC 800 and one part water. So in my bottle I did 300, 200, 100 grams, mixed that all up and I used, I started off with um, two to one, like two parts pouring medium to one part paint, but it was too thin so I've gone one and a half. So I did 40 grams of pouring medium and 30 grams of paint for my colours. Um, same with the background, I just mixed up a bit more, actually didn't use it all. There's a few little lumpies, my paint's getting old, I'm not using it as much as I used to. It's getting a little bit old, so it's getting a few lumpies in it. So anyway, that's my grey. I've got Payne's grey. These are all um, Montmartre paints. Uh, I'll show you the bottle. But then I just mix up my own colours and I, I put them in these empty jars that I bought. So it's all the um, Montmartre. So I made the Payne's grey. I've got burnt sienna. I've got Naples yellow, like these colours I've made myself because Montmartre don't do them unfortunately. Coastal turquoise is thalo blue and turquoise mixed together. The grey obviously black and white mixed together. Let me get these out of the way, make some room for myself. Oops, I'm sure, sorry if I'm shaking the table. Um, so yeah, that's it. So the flow trolley is this one. The GAC 800 is that one, golden. And then water. I've still got like four bottles of this. I don't know whether they're not making it anymore. Someone said they weren't making it anymore. I don't know. I've still got a few bottles left. Okay, let's get my gloves on and get this show on the road. Put that over there. Now, I don't want too, too much uh, paint. So... I'm not expecting cells. I mean, there may be a few little ones. I don't really want cells. I just want like a really pretty blended um, array of, of colours is what I'm hoping to achieve. Now, I've got way more paint than what I need here. Now, it leaves, leaves it a little mound. Little mound. Not, very, not a very big mound. So, here we go. I'm going to go like that just so that when I swipe I don't get all of one colour. You know, I think it's nice to do, just to do that. That way you get a variety of, <laughs> put it in the same spot, variety of um, colours. Let's see if I can get that one a little bit different. There goes my yellow. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of paint. I didn't want to use this much paint. Some white. And then we'll finish with the turquoise. So kind of a beachy theme, hey? Bit of a beachy theme. And if I zigzag my colours like that, when I swipe, I get a little bit of each. Because if you just put one line down, you tend to just get the top colour coming through, like when you swipe. Now, off camera, I'm just going to squirt my paper towel and as I said I'm using that serrated edge although my, my bottle doesn't want to squirt when it's on an angle like that okay so here we go mm, that's a lot of paint oh well you're not going to be able to see the background I don't think but I've got more paint so I can always go again so let's try half and just slowly drag And I don't think I want to, do I want to use that same? No, let's use it again. That's all right. Now, I don't want these loopies, so I'm going to go in, in here. Pop it down, try and get like halfway. And 
mark the game. That's a lot more blended, I guess because it's had colour on it already. Wow. Which one do I prefer? Hmm. Okay, so maybe not double dip because you've already got colour on there and the you know the grey's on there, so maybe if you don't want it to be blended, don't use the same one again. Um I may come back to this one and, and swipe over that one again. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll see which way I prefer it. All right, let's go again. It's going to overlap a little bit. I'm trying to go straight, <laughs> although it doesn't really work that way. <laughs> oh, it, it kind of wants to wobble. All right, see now that's got the grey on it on the bottom there, so let's not use that one again. Let's just put that over there. I don't know, which one do you like? Do you like the brighter one or do you like the more muted one? I may come over and swipe them again actually, just to get rid of some of that colour. We'll see what happens. All right, here we go. Fresh piece of paper. Drop it down. Let it lay flat. And off we go. I try to go straight, but it's, it doesn't really want to do that. See, that one's the same, and I haven't double dipped. Probably because I have, maybe I took more colour this way. I don't know. All right, another one. Am I going to make it? Mm, maybe. Just. We're going to make it with three pieces of paper towel. And off we go. See, I've got a lot of... Oh, I missed a bit. I've got a lot of um, paint through the centre there. So, it's... Um, like it's spreading... A lot I guess rather than um, if you had just a tiny bit it wouldn't spread so much I'm gonna go back over the top of this one and also if your mix is a little bit thinner maybe I should have stuck to the two to one it's always hard when you're trying a new pouring medium I think I prefer the muted side over there what? go again. Actually I wonder what it would look like with a little bit of black over the top. What do you think? Mm, do you like that? Or a little bit of black over the top? I might mix up a tiny little bit of black. Hang on one sec. Um, and just swipe with a bit of black over the top of that. Hang on. Wait there. Don't go anywhere. If I can put you on pause with my little stylus. Right, I got a little bit of black mixed up, same ratios, and let's just put a tiny little bit down in the centre. I think, like, I, I generally like some somewhere for the eye to rest, like a little bit of black in the centre. I think it just really makes everything pop, but we shall see. Now let's wet this again. Squirt, squirt. Now this is going to be a little bit tricky. A little bit tricky trying to swipe. Oops, it's sinking. Let's see what it looks like. And I'm going to double dip because there's not much black here. And just gently no that didn't work that's no good I need to go all the way down that's for sure I was going to go like halfway but no I can't do that all right let's try again let's go this way with the black over the top oh, I'm a bit crooked all right and again the other way I'll go all the way okay 
Okay, I think I'm just going to keep going with my same piece of paper towel because it's got the black on it. And up. All right, now I'm just dragging. Oh, I'm dragging way too much grey through now. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't think I'm liking this very much at all anymore. Okay, no, not liking that anymore. Now, what I'm going to do is, because I've got a lot of um, colour left, let's... Um, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Let us... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just put you on pause. And I'm going to thin my colours just a tad. And we're going to go again. Right, so I thinned everything out a little bit. I just gathered a little blob of water. Poured the rest of my grey that I had left over over this. Put a little bit of extra water in these. And I'm going to go again. Not as much. So you know how I told you, um, you know, this is the first time I'm using this. But, um, yeah, it just takes a little bit of tweaking. So this is more like two to one. So two parts pouring medium, one part paint. So we'll see if that works. But I enjoy experimenting, so I don't mind doing this at all. Now, a little bit of paint. Let's see if I can do a little bit of paint. <laughs> Oh, a little bit. Just a little bit. Not too much, Julie. You can always add more, I guess. But the first time I put so much on, it was just too much, I think, for what I was trying to achieve. There we go. You see, you don't, really don't need much at all. So I really want to spread the colour out. I don't want it to have too, too much. Oops, a little bit more of the, the blue down. All right, let's see how that goes. So that was hardly any paint at all. I've still got a heap left. Put my sticks back in. Righto, let's get another sheet of paper. So I hope you guys don't mind me experimenting with you. do that very straight did I all right here we go pop that down and that's better that's more of what I was after now I'm not going to use that one again sorry a bit of paper I'm gonna get a clean one a fresh one I don't want to drag um, muddied paint back over the top. It's hard to spray when you're tilting your water bottle. Okay, so where it's starting to bend like that, I need to cover those little bends. So I'm going to put that back in about there. And off we go. There we go. That's better. All comes down to consistency, doesn't it? And look, we're getting a few little cells. Not that that's what I wanted, but with your thinner mix, you will tend to get a few little cells. Okay. And again. Just try and touch your colour. Don't like put your paper towel down into the grey. Just try and touch your colour, your swap colours that you've put down. Otherwise, it's just going to drag your base colour right off. And you don't want that. I'm still missing a little bit of yellow up here. Just there. Okay, drop that down. Let it flop down. Flop down just into that swipe paint. 
and off we go and take it round so we're not dripping on anything. We'll put a little bit more yellow, a little bit more brown. Okay, only because there's more of that um, brownish tone there, and I really like that, so we'll put some on the other side as well. I wonder if I'm going to have enough paper towel. Enough room. Maybe it'll just make it. It's hard going straight. <laughs> it always tends to have a little bit of a wave in it. Oh, that's looking really pretty. That's what I had in my head. That's what I had imagined. The first one, the mix was just a bit thick. So it wasn't blending very well. Like the colours were just too thick. So it wasn't, wasn't blending, which is what I was after. Okay, pop that down again. Just there. And off we go. Oops, I missed a tiny little bit. Tinsy wincy little bit. I wonder how I can fix that. Mm. Mm, let's see, what can I do? If I take a little bit um, I just tear a tiny little bit of this wet paper off see that little bit there I just missed that I wonder if I can just got it Woohoo! got it oh my gosh all right now let's give it a little bit of a torch just to uh, pop some bubbles. Oh, your big boy's very excited. He hasn't been up to play for a while. Settle down, settle down. Because I've been doing so much resin, he hasn't had a chance to come out and play, you see. So he gets a bit overexcited. So now this is where I look at it and I go, do I want to put some black in the centre? Like there's a lot of grey coming through. I hadn't quite envisaged that much grey. But I think I think if I put mm, I don't know. Oh see, I still would like a little bit of black on it, but then I ruined it last time, didn't I? Hmm. Um, let's just try something. Let's try something. I'm going to get my little piece of card. My little... Where's my scissors? I'm just going to cut this into three. And I just want to see... Actually, I won't even put the black down. I'm just going to dip the, that into there like that. Let's just see what happens, hey? If I just... Just do like a little bit of, mm, that didn't work. So if it doesn't work, then I've kind of ruined it. A little bit of black, I don't know, what do you think? Do you, I wish you guys could talk to me. Do I do the black, do I not do the black? Dip that in. gonna have a little bit of a play here no one's answering me see this side's nice where I've gone away from myself but up here I'm not doing a very good job I just kind of feel as if I need a little bit of darkness 
Uh, I'm not doing it very well at all. Like if you're going to do it, you need to do... I'm getting cells though, look at that. Um, okay, what about... Do we like the black? That's the thing. Do we like the black or do we not like the black? I kind of like the black. I'm going to... I know, I'm just going to go again with a tiny little bit of black. Just for the eye to rest. I do like the black. And now, <laughs> I'm doing exactly the same thing that I did last time and I didn't like it. Why? 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 Why is the question. Now, let's see what happens if I just do little. See, it's much thinner this time, so maybe it'll work. I'm just going to do the whole thing and then if I don't like it, then I could just scrap it. I mean, it's only paint. It doesn't matter. It's only paint. And we don't know if we're going to like these things until we try them. Hey? Exactly. Right. I'm not going to cover the whole thing though, just little areas. I'm trying to like off center them a little bit too so that it doesn't look too similar. The whole thing doesn't have to be covered in the black. It's like it doesn't, the whole thing doesn't have to be covered. Okay. Oh, let's have a look now. Let's have a look and see what it's going to do. Give it a quick torch. Now you behave. It's behaving. All right, I'm just going to have a little bit of a play. Where's my stick? A little bit more through here. There's more black on that side. There's not much here. I might just put a little bit more there. What am I doing over? What did I put that there? Well, I can't remember why I did that. know why I did that. Don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember why I did that. I want the black to go all the way across so let's just put a little bit more black in into the center. Let's make sure it's going all the way across. As I said somewhere for the eye to, to rest. There's a lot going on. I think just that little divided line there. I do like that. And it'll blend a little bit as well. Like, you know, the, the paint will move and shift a little bit. It will blend. getting closer getting close to what I had envisaged okay I don't like you why did I do that I don't like you uh, it, it should settle it should settle mm, how do I fix that bit now no just leave it okay um, what do you think everything's kind of blending and 
moving around a little bit. I think it's going to be all right. What do you think? Got a few little subtle cells popping up, even though I wasn't after cells. Um, Floetrol will give you cells, whether you want them or not. Uh, Floetrol is a paint conditioner. So I think it's got some kind of oil in it. I don't, I don't know. It's to put in spray painters, like spray paint guns to stop the paint from clogging up. So I think it's got like some kind of an oil in it. Did I just drip there? Gosh. Gosh. I don't know if I can fix that. How am I going to fix that? Yeah, there we go. It's better than a blob. Okay. Um, not at all what I started off with, but I like it. I do like it. Um, look at all those cells. Wow. See, the black has kind of... Um, let me get my glove off and then I can take it down. The black's kind of blended in. Like, it's not as stark down the centre as it was initially. So it's just given that little bit of contrast and a little bit of depth, I feel, to, to the centre. Oh my gosh, I'm on the wrong, I'm on the wrong setting again. Look at that. got a lot more grey in it than I was anticipating but that's probably because I did two lots of base coats but look if you don't like something to begin with why not go again just pour over the top go again and this has taught me a lot it's taught me that my little mix there that I've made up needs to be thinner um, so a two to one Oh, hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully I didn't bore you stupid. Um, yeah, as I said, it's got a little bit too much grey in. I've got a lot of... Look at this. I've got all these colours. Does anyone mind if I go again? I might go again. Um, and, uh, and do it again. Alright. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you enjoyed my little video. And uh, I'll see you real soon for the next one. Okay. Bye for now.